Hey guys, what's going on? First of all, I am very happy to start this free ethical hacking course and show you some awesome stuff you can do with your laptop or your phone. This series will cover a lot ranging from compromising other devices, how to hide yourself on the internet, social engineering attacks, to Wi-Fi hacking and much much more. If you want to learn more, then please visit our newly made website zbanga.in. I'll be giving you the link in the description below. You will find some really great courses there and it's all for free. So make sure to check it out now. Without any further ado, let's begin. In this video, I'll be telling you how to install a virtual machine and a hacking operating system of your own choice. I'll be downloading VirtualBox as the virtual machine and Parrot operating system as the hacking operating system. I'll also mention the reason for my preference in a moment. But before moving further, let's discuss why are we even downloading a virtual machine? Why can't we directly download and install the hacking operating system onto our device? Well, you can, but there are a few disadvantages. Suppose you wanted to switch between the native OS from your hacking OS, then you have to basically restart your device. Or in case of a virtual machine, you can swap between OSLs real quick. If the second reason is that, suppose your hacking operating system gets corrupted, then there's a chance it might affect your native OS as well. But in case of a virtual machine, what happens inside it stays inside it. It in no way affects your native OS and it's pretty much easy to remove and install a variety of new OSs and features. Having understood that, let's move further. There are two really good virtual machines out there in the market. One is called the uh, virtual, virtual Box and the other one is VMware. I have worked with both of them but I find VirtualBox more appealing and easy to configure. When it comes to deciding a hacking OS, I'd be preferring Parrot OS over Kali Linux. The reason being, it's beginner friendly and less sophisticated. Parrot OS comes pre-installed with a lot of applications and libraries. So most of the time, no time is being wa wasted installing them. But if you are a kind of person who loves to install stuff manually, then, our, then I would advise to go consider Kali Linux as your operating system of your choice. In both the cases, the installation step will be the same as I'm gonna show you in a moment. So considering that you are going to install VirtualBox, you first gotta navigate to a website known as virtualbox.org or follow this link virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads. I'll be providing you with the link in the description below. Then choose your operating system whether you are a Windows user or an OS X or a Linux user. I am a Windows user, hence I'll be clicking on Windows host. It will download an installer for VirtualBox. Since I have already downloaded it, I won't be doing it again. The installation is pretty straightforward. You gotta press a bunch of next buttons and I agree buttons, <laughs> well you know it better. Now uh, we are going to download Parrot Security OS. There are many ways you can download and install an OS in VirtualBox. You can download pre-built VDIs or virtual disk images or pre-configured OVA files or ISO image files too if you want to take installation the manual way. I'll be telling you the easiest and the quickest step to install Parrot OS into your virtual box. Go to the site called osboxes.org and search for Parrot OS. This site provides you with the pre-configured VDI files and hence it is pretty quick to install and deploy. Now choose the distro of your choice, it doesn't matter which version you want. But if you like to install the latest version, then go ahead, who is stopping you? Now click any distro you want. Now go to the bottom and click on here. Now choose the virtual machine you own. We have virtual box, hence click on virtual box and press download. But before doing that, make note of one thing, go to info. And remember the root account password. I say again root account password. This is the password you need to type whenever you need the root access or admin access. So uh, make note of this password. Ro uh, osboxes.org. Oh, pardon me. Uh, let me close that. Yeah. So the root account password is osboxes.org. Now go to virtual box section and press download. It will take you to sourceforge.net from where the download will start in a moment. Since I have already downloaded it, I am not gonna do it again. After downloading it, extract it. The zip file looks like this. Inside the zip file, when you go further, you will get this VDI file. Extract the VDI file to any path you desire. In my case, it is uh, this, as you can see here, right here, .vdi, which is a VDI file. It is, it is a file for VirtualBox. Now open VirtualBox and click on New. 
type in any name you want. In my case, I'll be typing parrot123. You can type any name you want. Then type should be Linux. And the version should be Debian 64 bit. Remember, type should be Linux, version should be Debian 64 bit, and click on next. Now, this is your RAM. Allocate how many RAM you want for the OS. I would recommend to uh, give at least uh, about 3000 MB to make it run smoothly. Yeah, around about 3000 would be fine. 3200, yeah. And uh, click on next after giving the allocated RAM. Now we need to import the VDI file we just downloaded. Choose the use an existing hard disk file option. Then click on this folder like button. Click on add. And find your VDI file you just downloaded. Open. Choose. Now this will import the VDI file into your virtual box. Now click on create. That's it. We can directly deploy the machine now. Click on the virtual machine that you just named. In my case, it's Parrot123. And then press start. This will fire up your Parrot OS. I'm speeding up the process a bit to skip the loading time. Yeah, so basically we are now in the login page. Now you just gotta type in the root account password we obtained from the OS Boxes site. That is osboxes.org and hit enter. This will log you directly into the operating system. So that was all in this video. In the next video, I'll be telling you how to configure VirtualBox to enable some features to make Parrot operating system more functional and lifelike. We are really new and uh, before going, I'd like to say one thing. We are really new into the community and your help is totally required. Please consider subscribing to our channel and supporting us so that we can make courses available to you for free. It's just a click away. Bye and see you in the next lecture.